Let's give this another go. 20 times a charm, right? The green one and the blue. Maybe the purple one. Sorry, man. I'm not a scientist. There's nothing I can do. Sorry, buddy. I tried. I have miscalculated how cold and uncaring humanity is. Dr. Nostrum Mad Potion has shown me how violent your species is. We're not all like that. Dr. Nostrum Mad Potion is uh. human and he is evil. Ergo, humans are evil. The society was to be my safe haven. Uh. You were to be my friends. I was wrong. Uh, but I fixed you. I appreciate that. Ah. Coraline! Coraline! Oi! You there! Where's me fish? Is your lovely little fishy fish missing? Don't you dare play coy with me, you bloody sod. What did you do with her? Do with her? I never heard anyone such as that lovely fish. Come, let us look for her. Out of the way, girly. Get back here, clown! Beginning to believe that this place is much more complicated than Avalon. <sighs> Coraline! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our first quarterfinal round matchup between Amos, Hardcastle III, and the wild man, Monoraga. Not much is known about Monoraga as he was eliminated very quickly in the four corner spat, but we know Amos, Hardcastle III, is capable of immense violence. I saw both of these gentlemen backstage wailing away on the bags. This should be a hard hitting affair, folks. Also, look for Ragnar Ruffybuckle to be a wild card. He may get involved. With that said, let's send it down to the ring to Magnus Chatterbox for the introductions. And introducing first, being led to the ring by Ragnar Ruffybuckle, hailing from the mountains of Siberia, Monoraga. <laughs> Surprising considering this is Amos Hardcastle the third. 
Holtman squaring off again. <clears throat> Gut blow there. Oh. Right to the face once again. Both of these men seem equally matched when it comes to the power of their punches. He was dodging the punch there, but losing his balance. I think Madaraga got a glancing hit there, but there wasn't much power behind it. Madaraga must have been a baker in a past life because he keeps going to the breadbasket. That's the end of the round there. We're going to start with round two of our first tournament matchup between Amos and Madaraga. Ragnar hooking Amos with his cane. Madaraga bear hugging Amos to the floor. He's very quick to get up. Both men circling. More shots to the midsection by Madaraga in a big bear hug. One, two. Amos losing one of his braces. Amos is really taking a beating this round. Not putting up much of a fight himself or much of a defense. He is not, Magnus. He's being completely manhandled by the man from the peaks of Russia. Oh, with another bear hug there, throwing Amos across the ring. It's to the face. And there's the end of the round, Amos collapsing to the ground. Fight. There's the bell, both men coming out. Oh! Oh! Amos taking down Mataraga hard with a spear. He hit that man Six, like a runaway seven, steam locomotive. Eight, nine. And he is down, not getting up. Your winner, Amos Hardcastle the third. Amos will be going out to fight the winner of Iris Pandora versus Kensington Apricot. Fisticuff Society, we will have our second quarterfinal round matchup. This will take place between Pope Brandon Brownson and Captain Ivan Lepchenko. Both of these gentlemen are newcomers to the CFS, so look for them to make a huge impact on the tournament scene. We got a small taste of what Captain Lepchenko is capable of in the four corner spat, but Pope Brandon Brownson is an eccentric mystery to us so far. I personally am looking forward to this match greatly. This should be an interesting clash of personalities and fighting styles. Until next time, take care.